Yahoo YouTube, I'm Super Genki. Welcome back to my channel. Just thought I'd give you another update about where I'm at. Because um, Spain now has more cases than Italy, right? And I'm in Spain still. I don't think I'm going to be coming back though. I think I'm going to ride it out over here. And the reason being is because America's going to have more cases in the next couple of weeks than not China. China has over probably like a couple hundred million cases. They've been lying for a very long time. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens afterwards. But I'm going to stay over here in Spain and not really worry too much about it. That's what I want to tell you guys in this video. Don't worry too much about it because it's just so much is outside of our control. The only thing that we can really do is prepare and not just physically, mentally. I've gone through mental roller coasters since being over here in Spain, many of them. And I've been in quarantine for three weeks now. So I assume that it's probably gonna be a little different from for you and where you're at because quarantine is still in its first week, second week. It really changes that third week, you know? Third time is the charm, right? So the first week, first is the work, second is the best, third is the one with the treasure chest. Yeah, it's gonna take around three weeks to adjust to this big sh big change. And it really is. I think that, you know, motivation is cool, but it's not always around. It's not around when you need it most times. And what we're gonna have to do more than anything is figure out how to keep moving forward and making progress towards ourselves with the lapse of motivation. This has been one of my biggest issues over here in Spain because I made a lot of my failures about motivation and not about discipline. You know, lack of motivation instead of lack of discipline because Discipline comes in when you don't have the feelings, but you still do what you need to know to do. You still do what you need. You know you need to do, even though you don't have the feelings. When you put it to a lack of motivation, you don't do what you need to do because you don't have the feelings. And something that has been really hindering me and self-sabotaging me ever since I quarantine started has been my mind shifted away briefly from discipline and went back to motivation. But motivation was always that big thing in my life. So there's a lot of like habit there. I urge you all to start trying to develop some discipline wherever you're at in quarantine because discipline will pay dividends into the future. Motivation will not. You know, discipline will pay you in the future. You'll be able to become a better version of yourself in the future if you work to get more disciplined in the present. But I don't think that motivation... You know, as, as grandioso and inspirational as it sounds, like motivation is not going to get you anywhere because it's a feeling and feelings are designed to react to external circumstances. And right now, this external circumstance is just punching all of us in the face with reality. And um, people are still going outside, man. I read articles that people are still disrespecting the social distancing stuff and it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. But... Don't worry about it too much. Don't talk about it too much. My friend in Japan literally told me today that Spain had more cases than Italy. And then I was like, oh, well, I guess I should, should go like check it. And then I checked it and I was like, oh man, I wonder how the situation's over here in my town. I don't know. But I mean, what's gonna happen is gonna happen. So there's not really anything we can do about it. But I want you guys to stay calm. I want you guys to remember that this is going to pass. It isn't the end of the world. Even though it is a disruption of daily life, I, I just I think that it's the perfect time to think about the life we've lived and decide whether we want to keep living that way after quarantine is over. There's always like a silver thread, a silver lining in every big thing. You just got to find the silver lining, right? That's the video for today, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, like this video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, do it, because I want to get to 10,000 eventually. By the end of this year, damn it, man. It's just hard. It's hard. Ugh. Leave a comment. Love responding to those comments. Yeah, respond to those comments now. And most importantly, share the video with your friends. We need to get the good word, positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. 
I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.